Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering video. Today our lecture is about the types of loading on a building. So in this lecture we are going to focus on some of the important types of loading acting on any structure. As we know that there is no single load acting on any building, but there is always a combination of loading acting on any building. So first of all to discuss the two important types of the loading. The two important types of the loading are the dead load also called as the fixed load and the second one is the live load which is also called as the variable load so the dead load or the fixed load is a type of loading which is fixed with the location it does not change with the location of a building it is always fixed in one position of a building the live load changes with the location for example this load may be a snow load or earthquake load or any other type of load which i will explain it later so this is a type of loading which is always variable with the location now to define their subclassification of these two important loading under the dead load categorization there is only one subclass which is the sulfate of the structure sulfate of the structure for example, if I draw any building, let's suppose this is any building and there are any multi stories, so the sulfate of this building is called is the dead load or the fixed load because it does not change with the location. It is always been fixed in one location until it has been completely demolished. So the dead load is one subcategory which is called is the sulfate and the sulfate is actually the weight of the structure of the structure members for example the roof this beam and these columns so these are always considered in designing it cannot be changed so this is the fixed load we call it the sulfate of the structure while the live load is always changing with the location or with the time so to explain in detail the live load there are different subclassification of the live load the first subcategory of the lab load is the snow or the ice load. The snow load or the ice load. It is the load coming from the snow of on a building. So in, in case of the snowy region, you should always design your building for snow load, snowing load. The second type of the lab load is the rain load. Rain load. The third subclassification of the lab load is the flood load. The fourth subtype of the live load is the wind load. This is important type of the load. It depends on your height of the structure. If your building is taller and taller, you have to increase the factor of safety for your wind load. And the fifth type of the load category is the earthquake load, which is also a live load. And this load is a time dependent. It comes just for one, just for 30 seconds or for one minute. So that's why we call it the, the Arctic load is a time dependent load. And this is also in under the category of live load because it changes with the location. It changes with the time. The sixth type of the live load is the earth pressure load. Earth pressure load are the soil load. This is the load coming acting on the retaining wall mostly when you build a retaining wall so mostly the load coming from the earth or from the soil to on your building so it deflects your building in this way so there is also a load which we call is the earth pressure load or the soil load so these are different types of the subtypes of the live load while these three types of the load are called is the literal loads because they are always acting on the sidewise of a building for example, this is in a structure or column. So these loads are always acting on the sidewalls of a building. That's why these loads are called as the literal load, the wind load, earthquake load, and the earth pressure load. Hope you guys understand the different categories of the loading. These are the important loading which we always consider while designing the structure.